Lusitania there by Chris Andrew, who joins us in the studio here on Local and Live, 2XFM 98.3. Chris, how was it performing that first time live with Citizen K? Great. Great. Yeah. I mean, anyone who's um, seen Citizen K knows that he's like an impossibly good performer. And so it was a real joy. Yeah, we, we also did one of his songs. Uh, the, we learnt um, Free Doom and played that uh, on Friday and it was great. It was such a, I don't know, like I <laughs> I secretly wish that I was a rapper in a lot of ways because I like doing all the arts, but like um, I feel like for me the transition period between like that you sort of have to go through to be good at something would be so unbearable like you know to be to be bad at rapping would be so frustrating for me for for whatever many years it would take to to be good at performing um yeah and you know like if you're free to like dance around with just your microphone and nothing else i love that yeah i feel every artist wants to like idolize it being another type of artist. yeah yeah totally i host trivia nights and every trivia host just wants to be a rock star That's yeah true do, yeah. there you go yeah i think um who is it someone's got Dave Chappelle talks about how all comedians want to be musicians and all musicians think they're comedians. And, yeah. <laughs> well, you had to kind of bring out, I thought you were almost going to bring out the tight five. How was dealing with that with the, <laughs> the fire alarm? Oh, the- yeah, yeah, yeah. So people listening, there was um, during the launch that we had uh, on Friday, the, the smoke uh, uh, alarm, the fire alarm went off. So at the end of one song, it was like, beep, 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 beep. It kind of sounded like it was part of a song, but it wasn't. And um, we didn't know how long it was going to go. I was fine to deal with. I mean, like, you know. As a perfectionist performer, I was like frustrated to lose the momentum that you sort of build throughout a set because you know I'd really considered how the set was going to flow and things like that, and that was sort of taken away. But you know, also those things completely happen, and um, I think it was fine. I don't, I don't know, it wasn't it wasn't distressing. Yeah, yeah. The flow of the show and the choreography of it, I thought it was incredible. As you came out, was it kind of in a conga line? Yeah, so conga like, line. Yeah, and I feel. All your singing and dancing is so complimented by the rest of the band. Yeah, well, you know, uh, we all have, a, I think, a um, from the start, we have a pretty high appetite for just taking silly r- risks, you know, like things that are... Because because stage, is, stage stuff on stage is of um, a certain stakes that... that means that you can be too afraid to try things and things like that. But it's also, you know, no consequence. So it's, you know, fundamentally there to have fun. And that's, you know, that's why I really enjoy working with Jess and Tristan and Clark. That's awesome. How did you go about, I remember seeing a post you did on Facebook about oh, yeah. putting together the band and it was quite honest with the realities of what artists would face, kind of talking about having to promote merch, waiting around a lot, hauling gear around uh, and creating unnecessary hype. How do you go from putting out a big post like that and then forming the the band? Yeah, it's a good question. I I, um, I don't remember the details of the post. I remember deciding that you know I had very specific um, criteria that I I wanted um, met by the people that I work with. But the main like I met uh, I met Clark Hannah and I met Clark w- when working with him for Paint on Paint um, a few years ago. Just at a gig at a bar, and he just sort of we just jokingly mentioned that we needed a drummer, and he said I'm a drummer, and then so we invited him over to um ha- to like you know in inverted commas audition, and it was like the middle of winter, and you know we I'd cooked a stew, and we were playing um an Adventure Time board game, and he came in with like his cymbals and his sticks and stuff, and like yeah like you know sit down yeah sit down Clark come on just uh, you know, have, you're hungry come on let's eat, and then we played a game, and he won. He was really good dude to hang out with, and then um. And then uh, we said, yeah, so the gig's on Friday. It was like a Wednesday or something like that. And he's like, I don't need to play or anything. Like, no, no, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. And, you know, we because it's so much more, it's it's of such critical importance um, because of how vulnerable you have to be in artistic relationships. It's, it's so uh, important to um, have high level of trust and comfort with each other. And, you know, we just had that with each other straight away. And so I wanted to rebuild that um dynamic with uh, other people that I knew and, you know, Jess and Tristan, uh, not only wonderful people, but um, tremendous musicians and, um, you know, open-minded to to the type of experimental stuff that I'm interested in um, putting on those stages for everyone. If you get an opportunity, please try and check out one of Chris's shows because what I thought was awesome was they're playing multidiscipline with their instruments. So you had um, Tristan... DJing, then on the piano, then go off and contributing on the drums. Yeah, yeah. He's also a great guitarist and sax player. And he's singing as well? Oh, yeah. He's singing is impossible. Yeah. It was just, it was it was awesome to take that in. It was a real spectacle. Um, seeing such a wonderful lineup of supporting gigs. 
and then finishing off with these kind of dance songs. It was awesome. Yeah, Je- I mean, Jess is the same as well. Uh, it's like, I guess piano is probably my primary instrument these days, but I'm you know, quite the confident that Jess and Tristan are both better at keys than me, so it's like a funny <laughs> band setup. But yeah. Well, we're going to play a bit of Paint on Paint now, uh, fresh from that story that Chris has told about how he met Clark, and this is Seldom by Paint on Paint. Mm-hmm. 